A payday loan is a short-term, simple interest loan that people can take out from a, a company if they know they're going to get paid in a couple of weeks, but they need some money right now to make a car payment. They can take out a loan, pay a fee, and then pay that loan back when they get their paycheck. So suppose I need to borrow, let's say, $475. So I'm going to take out a $475 loan. And I'm going to take out the loan for 14 days. So that loan for 14 days. And the fee that the company is going to charge me, let's say, is $35. Now, notice that we don't have an interest rate here. Uh, but suppose we assume that this $35 here is interest. So if we pretend that it's interest, I'll call that I. Um, it looks like we've got for our loan amount, we're borrowing 475, we can think of that as the principal or our P, how much we're borrowing. And then the length of time is not really in terms of years like we need it for our formula, but that still has to do with our time. So the only thing missing here is what is the interest rate? So if we take a look at our simple interest formula, which says the interest is the principal times the rate times the time in years, we do have everything except this interest rate, which we can calculate. So if we substitute in our values, the interest we're saying is $35. That's equal to our principal of $475 multiplied by R. I don't have that yet. And then the length of time needs to be in terms of years. So to convert 14 days into years, it's really 14 out of 365 days um, out of the year. So I have everything that I need to solve for this interest rate R. What I'll need to do first is multiply each side by 365. So I'll take 365 and multiply up to the 35. And then I'll need to divide both by the 475 and the 14. So we'll divide those down. So what that will look like is 35 times the 365 multiplying up to the left divided by, now I'm going to divide by both the 475 and the 14. So what that will look like is dividing by 475 times the 14. That should equal my interest rate. And I can type that into the calculator. Now doing so, um, on some calculators, you might need to add parentheses around the denominator just to make sure that you're dividing by both the 475 and 14. But on my NumWorks here, uh, it should do it for me. If I do 35 times 365 divided by 475 times 14, I get my rate is 1.921. So this is a percentage rate, which means if I convert it into a percent, I'll move the decimal place over two. Then if I just want to round to the nearest percent, um, I'll just round, keep the two where it's at. So what it looks like is I've got 192% interest rate. So the payday loan company is charging me 192%, but it's only for 14 days, uh, which is resulting in that interest fee of $35.